Hello there. Today we'll be doing longest consecutive sequence. Given an unsorted array of integers, nums, find the length of the longest sequence of consecutive elements. So in example one, we have uh, 100, 4, 200, 1, 3, and 2. And the output is 4 because if we sorted uh, this uh, set of numbers uh, list, uh, we would get 1, 2, 3, 4, which is our uh, longest length of, of is 4. Um, you would think that uh, the, the only way to solve this is to use a sort and sort the array to and then count uh, one number after the next to see if um, we can get a consecutive count and um, I mean that is one brute force way to do it. Um, um, we will also have to account for uh, like duplicates and that would mean that we would need to um, make us make a set out of this then sort it but if you think about a set we can up, obtain every single number that we want inside this particular set of nums and we just need to find um, we just need to look at every item in the set and see if there is a number that is a one greater than it and that would be our uh, and we would make that count if there's uh, another number and another number that's one greater than that, right? Um, then we would be able to um, like find that consecutive number in O of uh, n time because it sorting. I mean, putting everything in a set is a O of n operation, and um, the lookup is O of one. So. Uh, if we do that, then we can get an O of n uh, runtime. Uh, it's also the same O of n uh, sort. So let's put it into code and see how this is done. So nums equals set of nums. So our uh, max count is equal to zero. And for num in nums, uh, we have like this is a set, so it could be random. So I mean, let's say let's let's just stick with this random set of 100, 4, 200, 1, 3, and 2. Okay, so um, in this num, uh, we get 100 first, and we check if um, the num minus one uh, not in nums. So what this does is that we want to make sure that we're going to count the longest sequence, uh, a consecutive sequence. If there is a number that's a num minus one, um, then we're not counting the longest sequence. So we, let's just give up there and until we, we find that, that first number. So then um, we're going to set, um, if we do, if it is the first number, let's say like 100, if it is uh, our first number, um, we're, we're going to uh, look for next number is equal to num plus one. And while next num is available, we're gonna do next num is uh, plus equals one. It's because we're gonna keep adding that next num uh, until we run out of numbers. So the, we, we, for 100, our next num is does not exist. So our current max count is equal to the max of max count, which is 0. And um, next num minus uh, num. So the, the, the most furthest away num minus the current num. So um, that would be 1 in, in um, the case of 100. So then uh, we repeat the process for 4. It's not the first item because there's a 3. We try 200. Um, 200 is also 1. So max count is also 1. Then we found 1. 1 is a, um, like, there's nothing behind it. So we go into the next number, which is 2. Um, and we found that two uh, exists, so uh, let's let's start counting. 
So this is our num. This is our next num. And this is uh, we're going to keep moving the next num. So while next num is in num, uh, next num plus equals one. So we do a plus equals one, then it's three. Um, is there a next one? Uh, well, there is, and then it's four. Is there a next one? Um, well, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Give me one moment. So uh, next num is two. Uh, while two exists, it's going to be three. While three exists, it's going to be four. While four exists, it's going to try to set it to five, which is doesn't exist, but it's currently at five. But it doesn't exist in our set. So um, we're going to get that max count is going to be a uh, max count between um, a 1 or 5 or 5 minus 1 which is 4 and now between 1 and 4 if 4 is bigger so max count is currently equal to 4 and for the next two numbers um, there is one number smaller which is 2 3 and there's I mean the 2 and then 2 is smaller is 1 so we we finish the entire uh, set of numbers in our set then we can return uh, the max count. Perfect. And done. OK, um, so that is all uh, for longest consecutive sequence. Um, if you like the video, please, uh, in, you know, like and subscribe. Um, and if you have any questions, please put leave a comment in the uh, section, and I may get to it, and or someone else might get to it. That would be great. And uh, thank you very much for watching. There is uh, there are more videos and uh, what I'm doing in iOS in the link in the description below. So thank you very much, and have a good one.